the 1986-87 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie number 57. In the 1980s and 90s, Michael Jordan owned all things sports and media. He was global before social media. He was on TV, in papers, in magazines, on movies, and almost every time there was a commercial break, he was selling you something while making a fortune in endorsement money. His rookie card allowed an entire generation to have something of his from the very beginning. For many of us that grew up in the 80s and 90s, the price was well beyond our childhood allowance. Even back then when an extra value meal at McDonald's was under three bucks. Yet now the same kids that grew up in the 80s have money to spare. And what better way to connect closely with their childhood idol than to have his most iconic rookie card. However, now you've got to have money to spare in the thousands. If you'd like a PSA 10, you better have many, many, many thousands to spare. The sports card that needs no introduction. The most iconic basketball card of all time. The rookie of the greatest basketball player of all time. One of the most recognizable sports cards of all time. This card completely owned the 1980s and no other card came close. When the 1986 Fleer basketball set was released, a pack cost, get this, 50 cents. Could you imagine spending two quarters and pulling one of the most sought after cards of all time? Every child wanted to be able to fly like MJ. Every athlete envied his greatness and for collectors, sports fans, and investors, this card quickly became a holy grail, must have piece. Its value has skyrocketed through the years and it seems there's no end in sight for how high the value can go. But what makes this card what it is? There are many, many counterfeits out there of this Jordan rookie, but we're not here to talk about them. Let's talk about the holy grail of MJ cards. First off, we have to look at this iconic photo. Michael Air Jordan flying through the sky, the ball so much higher than the basket, and Michael's classic patented tongue out showing his intense focus. The USA colored red, white, and blue border, that vintage cursive style Bulls jersey, and even his opponent defender looking on in awe. According to PSA, nearly 19,000 of these cards have been graded, which I believe that means there are less than that in PSA holders. How many of these do you think have been broken out of holders and then sent back in to be graded? We have no idea, but what we do know, there have got to be less than 19,000. Beckett has graded close to 10,000 and around 1,800 at SGC. And there are undoubtedly many of these sitting in the shoe boxes stuffed away in the houses of 80s babies and their parents. A modest estimate would put this card around 28,000 graded and to take a guess, another few thousand still floating around ungraded. So potentially around 30 to 35,000 of these on planet Earth. Again, these are estimates, but they seem fairly accurate. PSA says there's a little over 300 in PSA 10, a little over 2700 in PSA 9, and near 7500 PSA 8s. Is this card the most rare? No, but it is the most iconic. And while rarity doesn't necessarily draw people to the card, it's obvious it's in a league completely of its own. And considering there are around 6 billion people on planet Earth, 35,000 is a low percentage of people that have one of the most iconic basketball cards of all time. Victory Investments.